I just want to start off this interaction with an experiment. Okay, and I want to call this the Sophia David experiment. So if the experiment fails, you can blame me for it. All right. Um, and this experiment is mighty successful if I can have a few more folks on video. Okay, so I won't push you to get on video, but if you want to take 30 seconds, uh, quickly adjust yourselves. Uh, see if you if you're all set to come up on video, nothing like it. But I do understand that you're in the comforts of your homes and bandwidth is an issue and all of that. And if, if you if you want to hide behind your name, that's completely fine. But if you can come on video, nothing like it. Fantastic. Thank you very much. I'm looking at the faces on screen. Wow. Lockdown, lockdown does have quite an effect on you all. I have to say that this is interesting. This is very, very impressive. Thank you very much. So I'm going to begin my experiment and the experiment is fairly simple. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and you'll have to hear my voice and imagine and picture everything that I'm asking you to do. Yes. At the end of the experiment, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. You will try answer these questions using the chat window. Are we clear with the instructions? If you are, just give me a thumbs up. Fantastic. Okay. Seems like you are clear. All right. Uh, this is also a very dangerous experiment because I'm asking you to close your eyes. It does not mean you can slip into a snooze fest. Okay. You have to come back. Right. Are you ready? Okay. So everyone close your eyes and imagine that the pandemic is over and you're setting foot into the outside world. You're about to go on your dream vacation. That one place that you told yourself as soon as the lockdown is over, I'm going to go. You know, that one place you've dreamt about for years and you're about to travel to that land, that place. So you pack your bags, you are running through the airport. Yes, you collected your boarding pass. You're running on the tarmac, okay? Uh, you're looking for your airplane. You look at the airplane, you find it. You start um, embarking on it. You start climbing the stairs. As soon as you come to the door of the aircraft, there are two people standing there. One is the pilot and the other is a flight attendant. They warmly welcome you onto the aircraft, yes? Uh, and then you say hello and you go and sit in your seat. Now, right next to you, there's a very happy couple uh, right sitting next to you. They're also going to the same place you are going. They seem very happy. They seem to be recently married and all of that. Yeah, so you have, a, you have this tiny exchange. You, you talk to them a bit. You, you ask them, you know, how's the day been, et cetera, et cetera. Are you looking forward to your travel, this trip? And they are like, yes. So good start. Now, the plane lands. You... Um, you, you disembark, you come off the air, 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 aircraft itself, you're getting down the stairs. And as soon as you set foot, you notice that everything is different and everything is beautiful. You know, everything seems so new. The, the ground looks different. The trees look different. The sun and the sky looks different. Everything looks different. Okay. And you're like, yay, I'm finally at the place that I always wanted to be. And, and you quickly get into a taxi and you're going to your hotel now. Now the taxi wala is extremely chatty. He's asking you a lot of questions. Yes, and um, asking you a lot of things like from where are you, how long are you going to stay, etc., etc. But you're very happy to answer these questions. And the person drops you at the hotel. As soon as you take your suitcase out, you're walking into the lobby of the hotel. The manager of the hotel greets you very, very warmly. Is, is, is almost waiting for you. Yes, the whole day was waiting for you, greets you and takes your luggage, gives you your room key and you realize that you're hungry. Yes, and you look around and on your right, you can, you can get this whiff of aroma. You know that there's a restaurant there and you know, smells really good. So you walk towards the restaurant and this, this person who's the hostess of the restaurant is so happy to see you quite literally holds your hand and takes you to your table and gets you seated and checks on you. And you know, you're at your table now. Okay. 
and now the waiter comes to you and takes your order the waiter is wearing a pair of glasses takes your order repeats your order yes confirms that he's got everything and um gets you your food yes and you taste your food and you think it's just a 10 on 10 it's just perfect okay and this is the beginning of your vacation right this is the beginning of your vacation now i want to quickly pause here and i'm going to ask you to open your eyes okay and then i'm going to ask you a question and feel free to respond using the chat window right on your dream vacation how many people did you meet okay i have a few numbers coming in 8 5 4 6 50 okay 5 4 7 okay interesting numbers coming in very very good 12 all of them okay good okay okay um do you also want to use the chat window and tell me the characters in your vacation story the people that you met numbers are good give me the characters now the first person you saw the couple okay before the couple the flight attendant the airplane staff okay right and the cab driver okay the taxi wala okay yes good good and what about the hotel air staff to driver one hotel reception one couple two okay good good okay fair let me do the math for you okay this is the one time i get to use my math degree okay let's do this right as soon as i got onto the aircraft i saw two people the flight attendant and the pilot so that's two then the happy couple and because it's a couple i'm going to take that as two so now i'm at four yes the taxi wala is five yes the manager of the hotel property is six was looking forward to seeing you was is six the hostess at the restaurant is seven the waiter who took your order is eight so you met eight people agreed these are the eight people that you met on your dream vacation you were imagining your dream vacation at the end of the lockdown and these are the people that you met okay now i'm going to ask you to i'm going to make a few changes to the story i'm going to adjust a few elements in the story and um let's see what sort of reactions you have okay you're on your dream vacation okay um you are climbing the aircraft the stairs of the aircraft at the door you meet the flight attendant and the pilot right the flight attendant is a man and the pilot is a transgender person the happy couple sitting next to you are two women they are lesbians and they are married okay and they're looking forward to the same vacation that you are looking forward to as soon as you get off the aircraft you're in the taxi remember the chatty taxi wala who asked you a lot of questions the taxi wala is a woman who's as old as your mum yes there are countries in the world where in women drive taxis okay and older women also drive taxis okay and india does have a transgender pilot okay um the person who ushered you into the hotel right the person who welcomed you into the hotel is a non binary person and when i say non binary person this person does not like pronouns like he or she instead pref- prefers the pronoun they them and theirs so when i'm addressing this person i have to say they them and theirs rather than saying he she or hers the person who held your hand and took you to the seat yes this person is a blind person there are restaurants in the world which employs blind people and the person who took your order is somebody with down syndrome yes there are hotels again in the world which employs folks with down syndrome right now now i'm looking at your pictures i'm looking at the video i mean the videos i have on screen i was looking at your faces very very carefully while i was making adjustments to this story okay when i asked you to imagine the first bit of the experiment on your dream vacation you all were very happy i could see the eyebrows go up i could see people smiling when i said the restaurant was on the right i could see people turning to the right i could see all that on the screen okay which is very interesting so you were very there on your dream vacation which is fantastic 
Yes, you were very happy to be on that vacation, which is again amazing, right? Now, as soon as I said, I'm going to make a few adjustments to this story, to this experiment itself. And when I started telling you the actual characters in the story, the actual characters in this vacation itself, somehow the smiles were slightly gone, you know? I could see mild frowns on your face. I could see a few jaw drops. Yes, I could see a few, oh, is it? That sort of a reaction, yes. And it's completely understandable, okay, because we all work with a certain stereotype, yes? And I would say that even I have my own stereotypes in mind.